Okay, we have something that's called a scapular plane. Mm -hmm. This is where we want that upper arm to live in pressing movements and rowing movements. And it's a 45 degree angle and it actually depends on where my shoulder blade is and it can change mm -hmm. depending on my retraction or my protraction, right? So being aware of where your normal and where your neutral is at for your shoulder health, everybody's shoulder is gonna be different. Um, with the pressing motion, we never want to start flaring out, right? My arm is almost always tucked into that 45 degree position. As I start pressing, my elbow is coming forward out to the side as I start breaking the bar over my head. And then the elbows start to do a little flare. What you start to see now is because the elbows are flared, people start coming down in this T motion. They're not allowed. So the elbow starts to travel down exactly. but behind the shoulder. And instead of coming back down into that 45 degree scapular plane, right? That it's supposed to be going into. And if you actually look at the deltoid and the fiber alignment, that's the way that it wants to be lined up. 